Hey, how you guys doing? Today I'm going to show you how to do something that they don't tell you in the Vitamix website or any other location in the Vitamix universe. And that's how to make a personal size dinner roll using the Vitamix blending cup. Now I've done this quite a few times, I bet almost a hundred times to try and perfect it and be able to do it reliably. And this is going to be the way I'm going to show you. Now usually you have a Vitamix machine just like this and it has a little carafe that looks like this or you might have the bigger one or even use the food processor to do the dough kneading process. But today I'm going to show you how to do that with the blending cup. Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, it's, it's quick, easy and kind of fun to do, especially when you just want, you know, just to satisfy some small little snack appetite that you might have like every now and then I just want one dinner roll and I just don't want to make a huge batch of something to pretty much satisfy my craving for that so that's what we're going to do today and now to do that it's a kind of a very tricky sensitive thing to do well, it's very precise to do and if you stick with it I promise you it'll work so here's the blending bowl now I dropped this one probably about five times in my ownership of of having it so all the little metal bits in here are all corroded because water got trapped in here and I tried to seal it up but you know it's kind of got too late you know so it does look bad but it doesn't get into the food and it still works so I'm still using it so here we go I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna use the Vitamix scale I'm gonna zero that out and in here in this ramekin I have all-purpose flour I have 50 grams of flour and one gram of baking powder, and a pinch of salt, and about one or two grams of sugar. I like to sweeten it up a little bit. So it's just a simple, plain little dinner roll. And I'm just gonna put the dry powder ingredients first. Try not to spill it. I tend to be very clumsy if you've seen my previous videos. All right, total of almost 60 grams, which is fine. And now for the liquid part, you have to have about 35 grams. I have about 36 grams of water in here. You have to be pretty precise with that. Um, so it'll be about 50 grams of 50 to 55 grams of dry ingredients and 35 grams of water. I use grams a lot because it's a very precise unit of measurement. But if you follow that, this will work. If you deviate from that even by a little bit, it's not going to work. Trust me, I've tried it. I've done this so many times. I'm gonna zero that out, pour this in there. See about 36 grams of water, very nice. I'm gonna take the blade base, screw it on. Now a lot of people get this wrong and they get frustrated with the blending cups. All you gotta do is just pay attention to the range on the cup itself. It has a little indicator on here that's barely visible and as long as the arrow is within that range your Vitamix will read it. Now you have to have the Bluetooth style ones like the Ascent series for this to work. All right now the way I'm going to do this is there's no way to tamp it. This is a sealed container there's no way to get in there and mess with it. So if you don't do this right you're gonna it's gonna stick to the sides and it's game over. You're gonna have to fiddle with it. So the way I do this is I set on the lowest speed possible and I, I set it about mm, actually more like two or three. It seems to be the good speed and then what it does is the blade starts to incorporate everything and once it starts to bind up that's when I increase the speed to about four, four and a half, maybe five depending on, on how it's going and I will do that for a maximum of 30 seconds. Any more than that it's kind of a moot point. The other thing is that heat builds up very quickly in here and because it's a sealed container the gasket may blow out and it may spew stuff everywhere so you know that's kind of one of the hazards why they don't want you to do this especially with the baking powder it builds up the pressure so that's why I say don't do it any more than 30 seconds and don't go in high speed just stick with four to five for 30 seconds and you'll be just fine so here we go wake up the machine Set it two and a half, and here we go. Now everything's incorporated.
you have to let the blade grab everything and pull it in. Speed it up. There we go, now it's kneading it up real good. 30 seconds. And there we go, we got a little dough ball. I don't know if you can see that real good, but there's the dough ball. It's nicely kneaded up. So here's the other thing, because of the heat and the baking powder, the pressure is gonna be built up in here. So I recommend you slowly unscrew the blade base over a sink or something to release the pressure just like that. I'm pretty sure you heard that. I probably tried to make this video about a dozen times and I've always made some kind of mistake. So this is hopefully gonna work out just fine. So now you're gonna have your little dough right here and you might want to get a uh, small spatula like, like this beat up one I got from Vitamix. And you just go ahead and kind of flip it around a little bit. There's going to be a little bit of water in the bottom. That's fine. What I do is I just kind of turn this thing around, flip it around, get the, uh, get the water on the outside. And what I do is I actually throw this in, the, uh, in this air fryer here. And I bake it about... 350, 360 degrees for about 10 minutes. In this air fryer, your results may vary, uh, especially if you use like a small convention oven or something like that, and you're just gonna have to play around with it. But in this little Chefman style uh, air fryer, it's about 10 minutes, and it comes out pretty good. So I'll just take this ball and just throw it in, and that'll be the result there. Uh, I took the liberty of making one of these in advance, and you can see that's how it comes out. It's like, like a little dinner roll. And just go ahead and open it. And you can see it's nicely baked up and it's extremely delicious. Mm-hmm, super good. So that's how you knead dough in the Vitamix Blended Cup. There you go. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. I'm having a good time eating this. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and all those other things. It really does help. Click the notification bell.